so then the double interface that is the salt bridge and cu2 plus cu okay when you measure the the standard cell potential for this e cell standard that comes out to be 0 0.34 volts that comes out to 0.34 volts is compulsory to write the state of the for this yes yes yes, yes. okay now if we do a similar thing with the zinc electron with the zinc electron you get normally when you are writing say a lot it is this but say when it is in this context you should write it right so zn2 plus slash zn has its cell potential as standard cell potential as minus 0.76 okay as minus 0.76 you will understand you will understand Not okay that, on e that that indicates the standard value that is the standard value right if it is not e cell then and by standard value you mean the you mean the you mean the the concentration is one molar right unit unit concentration so okay now what does it imply what does it imply since we are doing a reduction potential it means this means that copper gets readily reduced in the presence of h plus right so so what happens what happens if there is H2 and H plus and say you dip copper in that, let us say, okay, then what happens? The, the propensity for hydrogen to become H plus 1, the tendency of hydrogen will be to become H plus and what will it do? It will reduce copper ion to copper, correct. That means, that means H plus can reduce this. Now it has connotations. It has got its implications. What is the biggest implication? That if you dip a copper metal into an acid. And acid supply you H plus. So what will it do? What will it do? Suppose you have copper. dipped in acid let us say you 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 drop a copper metal in acid okay what happens this will try to become cu2 plus if it was successful in getting oxidized then what would happen you will find the copper metal getting corroded correct but what is this equation saying that when these two compete for reduction this is the first that gets reduced so what happens it will try to come but h plus will push it back it will not let it become cu2 plus understand and if you do not let it to oxidize if you keep on reducing it it will not corrode Hmm? So what happens? Copper, that's why, does not get corroded in, in an acid. Correct? So, between copper 
एंड एच प्लस बिटवीन सी यू टू प्लस एंड एच प्लस इट इज कॉपर विच गेट्स रिड्यूस्ड फर्स्ट कॉपर विच गेट्स रिड्यूस्ड बाय एच प्लस It is copper which gets reduced by H plus. It is I should not write copper. It is Cu two plus which gets reduced by H plus to Cu. Understand? So what happens? So does does Cu two Cu two plus plus two electron. That is the oxidation of copper. Doesn't take place. In the presence of. oxidation of copper doesn't take place in the presence of h plus okay thus copper metal doesn't dissolve in acid okay specifically hcl hno3 dissolves in hcl it dissolves however in nitric acid okay However, it dissolves in HNO three because there it gets oxidized by oxidized by nitrate ion. okay and not by hydrogen ion okay until or unless there is an oxidation it will not it will not corrode we had seen between zinc and copper zinc was undergoing oxidation so we saw that the electrode the electrode started getting corroded correct one which was getting reduced kept on piling up more and more of copper right copper on the right it gained weight correct fine so such statements that h plus cannot oxidize copper are true correct now what happens if you have got a series of these cells one after the other what happens you can immediately tell that when these two are competing which reaction will be favored correct okay so so the very fact that this is positive with respect to the hydrogen means that the reduction because what are we doing what are we doing we are finding out the reduction potential so what does it say the higher the value of the reduction potential higher the value of the reduction potential okay so between 0.34 and 0.34 0 is for hydrogen 0.34 and 0.34 is greater 
so 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 copper has got more tendency to get reduced between copper and zinc 0.34 is greater so when they fall together they come together it will be copper which will be reduced it will be zinc which will not be reduced so it will start getting oxidized understand we'll soon see that if we write the table and you you yourself draw the draw the whole thing then you understand now what happens you have kept the reduction on the right hand side right reduction on the right hand side so what happens since we are dealing with the reduction potentials whatever you keep on the right has to be greater than whatever you keep on the left correct because whatever has higher reduction potential that will be reduced okay that will be reduced and the other will be oxidized so that goes to the right is it not is it not okay so 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 uh, just a sec I'll, I'll 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 kind of clear it er we can be negative why not er can be negative hold on hold on hold on e cell will not be negative e cell will not be negative er can be negative right so so you have written this right the construction part you have written so so i i go beyond this but e cell link p2 h3 Is it? it is negative but you are not setting it up with that what happens you're not setting it up with that you'll be setting it up with something else right okay for and we are talking all the cells except the hydrogen cell and the that is for for the measurement purpose okay now what happens when you have this copper zinc thing and i'll draw fast and rough okay and this is the salt bridge okay and and okay and this copper zinc thing zinc galvanometer copper this copper now in this you know that the reduction potential of this is this is minus 0.76 this is plus 0.34 correct this is this is zinc this is copper <clears throat> i know their standard potentials are these now what do i do what do i do in fact it should have been what if i wanted to write then e cell should be e right okay e right for reduction plus e left for oxidation okay it should be that now you will find out that e right e left oxida oxidation will be negative of e right reduction okay it will be negative of e left reduction okay 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 if if it was oxidation then we would have gone like that okay and that's why this comes in and when i write it like this then it becomes e right both are now reductions 
Okay, so that, that's what IUPAC says. So it becomes this minus 0.76 and it was no wonder that it came out to be 1.10 volts. The EMF of this cell will be 1.10 volts. We get the point? That's how we set up the cell and that is why you are asked to keep the reduction to the right. Correct? You are asked to keep the reduction to the right. Now say, 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 someone is trying to build a, build a, 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 a lead zinc cell. Okay? A lead zinc cell. Lead zinc lead zinc cell now what is the reduction potential for for lead it is giving you pb okay what is the reduction potential it is minus 0.13 volts correct say say zinc zinc i already know Zn2 plus plus 2 electrons is Zn that is minus 0.76 volts. In between them, which is more likely to get reduced? One which has the higher electrode potential. Correct? Which is this. So this will get reduced. That means the lead will come here. And zinc is where it is. And this becomes minus 0.13, this becomes oh, minus 0.76, it was rightly written. And when you apply your formula of E cell is equal to E right standard minus E left standard, it is what? It is minus 0.13 minus minus 0.76 which is minus 0.13 plus 0.76 which is equal to 0.63 volt you understand why it will always be positive it has to be positive because what gets reduced will have a higher reduction potential and that we'll always keep to the left so from a higher value, E right is always reduction and reduction is always higher. So from a higher value, I am subtracting a lower value. I am subtracting a lower value. That is all. Okay. Now, if you consider, if you consider hydrogen to be the ground floor, the, the SHE to be the ground floor, whatever is the this thing th then what is it telling you you know you are in effect saying that 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 i have one of my floors at minus 0.13 and the other floor is at minus 0.76 so what is the difference between <coughs> the floors what is the difference between the floors this is what exactly is happening so you are actually finding this Understand, if you want to understand pretty simply, and this is how you should understand, it is doing nothing. It is saying with respect to this, someone is here. With respect to the same, someone is here. You want to find the difference? Find it. Just, this is the subtraction. It, it, it's not for nothing that they have subtracted the things. If you understand that, the whole electrochemistry is understood. Okay. So that's why bringing you to this point, I had to kind of keep on, keep on telling you every bit of what is happening. Here onwards, it will go faster. But these things have to be understood. A reference is set. Height of one building is known. Height of another is known. What is the difference?